Well, hello everybody. Hope we're all doing well. Um, I thought today because I've watched so many people do this on YouTube and it just gives me the inspiration to say, hey, you know, let's show everyone my guitars. Show them all of my guitars that I oh, right here. I'm just gonna quickly uh, move one of them here because uh, I'm gonna need to climb over some of the parts here. And of course, I'll need to climb over over here and all because it's all full of guitars and cases. Um, I will have to mention though that I have in total of 32 guitars. 32, I mean, sorry. And uh, well, I will mention that not all of them are gonna be shown on this video. I will show you a clip off of. Uh, an old video that I made for my personal Facebook of one of the guitars that's not going to be featured on this one because the fact that one of my singing partners is borrowing that guitar to teach herself how to play which I think is really sweet of her to ask if she likes to borrow one of my guitars and I will mention there will be two other guitars that I won't be showing and i rather not explain what happened to them because uh, it's a uh, pretty bad it's pretty bad but let's just say they're now put away somewhere safe where no where nothing else can happen so without any more further ado whatsoever i'm going to start off by showing you my very first guitar that i bought i will mention i didn't buy this from a music store which i wished i did but i bought it from a store that's no longer around anymore and that's this uh Herald Beginners Classical. It's got very nice color schemes, very nice uh, work on that thing. Lovely uh, strings on that thing like that. Very good design of the headstock. Perfect to use for beginners. You know, if they want to want to buy a guitar of their own. This one I bought for a very good price. And I will mention as well, guys, I've uh, named these guitars. I've named all of them, really. I'll do my best to remember them all, really. <laughs> and I will mention, I'm not that good at knowing what type of wood it is, but I think this one's got like a rosewood, something like that. But the model is the uh, HL44, this is, and uh, yeah, it's um, nice. It's very nice to use, and um, well, it's perfect to start with, really. So there you go. Guitar number one. Now, the next guitar would have been one of the bro one of the guitars that I won't be showing you, and of course, same goes for the next one. So, number two and number three will be skipped, and I'll show you guitar number four, which is right here, and that's me Ridgewood uh, non-electric acoustic. And here it is. Here we go. Here's the non-electric Ridgewood. Uh, yes, this is looking a bit damaged, and I apologize for that bleep. Excuse me a minute while well, I just quickly uh, take care of that. There we go. There we are. There we go, it's gone. Alright, so I will mention that there's a story about this. This year, on the 8th, well, not this year, I would say nine years ago, on the 18th of November 2008, after I went to see Garfunkel in concert, I recorded a song in the recording studio and this was a guitar I used. I have like this uh, little wire that's got like this piece at the this piece at the end to link it into your sound hole to make it sound electrified. Plugged that in and uh, surrounded with microphones and the headsets and everything like that. It was just a great experience. I really, really am pleased and I'm more pleased to say that this year, as I mentioned nine years ago, this year will be its 10th anniversary of that particular disc of that particular recording that I did was made. It's on my uh, it's in my video somewhere, and uh, feel free to look for it if you can. It, it's known as the Boxer in a studio. And I've also, and as I mentioned naming them, I, I don't think I mentioned the name of the classical. I named him Bobby. This one I named Al. I know, I know it's a good name for a guitar, but what can you do, eh? Now the following guitar, I'm not sure this one came after Al, but um, but I might as well just move along to this one. I can get him out nicely. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and that's this very bright stag acoustic. And you may notice as well the pegs are are different coloured like that because one of the original pegs broke and. Uh, 
and they haven't got any white pegs so they said let's do black and white black and white black and white uh, sort of pattern and it does suit him I'll be honest it does suit does suit it it's got a nice headstock I'm not sure if you can see oh yes you can there you go yeah, you can see the logo and the logo inside it's really nice so it's I would say I would call this like a brother to me Ridgewood here because if you look at the bodies so there you go look at these two bodies they do look a bit similar don't they I will mention as well that I've named this one Whitey Jesus. I was going to call it Whitey, obviously, but a friend of mine who has a nickname called Whitey said, why don't you call it Jesus? So I thought, alright, maybe Double J for short. And it's got nice, nice woodwork and it's beautiful guitar to play. And uh, the strings are three years old, right? But they don't look three years old, they look three days old. Funny, isn't it? This for five didn't play this one very much, but I might do that. So white, so WJ. I'll call that WJ. Yep. Okay, now the next one I will show you. I would like to call this one like my personal favorite one because I always love to have this guitar standing next to me because I like the looks and yes, it has a bit of a few issues, but it's been all around me. Well, me and it's perfect guitar to use to songwrite. So if I can quickly get that for you, if I can, without uh, causing any more grief here. There we go. And that's me Westfield acoustic. And I apologize for the body being so mucky. I did try and keep it clean, but looks like it didn't work. And I'm not sure if you can hear this, but there's like beads inside the guitar because of the fact that each guitar comes with these the packets of beads and unfortunately the beads inside this one broke and it's caused everything to fall all over the place but I did ask the the, the shop owner if uh, there's any particular reason why these are in there and he says to protect the guitar from any diseases I don't know how that works but there you go and it's it's still gorgeous by all means, it, again it's good to use for songwriting. And I will mention, again, the strings on this one are like three years old, but they sound like they're three days old. And it's Westfield. And you may know, I'm not sure if you can tell, but one of the tuning knots over here, one of the tuning knots on the, well this one here, is different. Because the fact that the old, the original ones, the original one, the screw bit just somehow came out and uh, wasn't able to tune the guitar, it just remained tuned down pretty badly. So we had to send it off to have it fixed and uh, they replaced it with a new one. So it's been everywhere this, this guitar has and um, I've named this one Arnold. And whilst I'm here, I don't, this one didn't come next but I might as well show you this next acoustic which is a Westville acoustic so I'll just put so I'll just quickly put Arnold back nicely done straighten everything out here look mommy and this and this one has like a bit of a story to it as well my grandparents had a few friends over that's uh, that goes to this bingo and I think this was one of the prices and they, they won this guitar and they actually ran me grandpa and said, do they know anyone that plays guitar because they didn't want to keep this? And so they rang me and I went to pick it up and uh, recorded them a song with this really to show how appreciative I am with this guitar. Now, I will mention there's a chip over here because I accidentally dropped it on a pebbled uh, pavement but quite lucky that it's still in one piece thankfully. It's beautiful guitar by all means, very nice bridge as it is with the others. And uh, sound, very good sound hole. Pick up guard, that I um, think you can clearly see right there. Very good headstock with the West Bill on it. Yeah, and I've named this one Archie. And again, this one is too a perfect guitar to use to songwrite. So, there you go. Just there quickly. Put them back nicely inside. Oh, apologize for the banging going on. Let's put it in the cramped spot. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to move on now to a different type of guitar. I'm going to show you my very first electric guitar. And this would have been 10 years since I've had this guitar. It's been 10 years since I've had this one from my birthday. Well, 8th of July, really. 8th of July or 6th? I don't know. 
but and that's this uh, Benson electric now bef now when I made these videos for my personal Facebook it had issues but now it's all fixed well it's just these uh, pegs here that are mighty loose might need to get them replaced but it's a Benson electric it's very good to use and uh, well it's good to it's good to use for recordings I have played this live a few times it's got the uh, neck holder piece uh, four screwed neck piece in the back bit there it's a bit like a Stratocaster but sadly it isn't but it's very it's very nice well I think it is really but it's very good to use a very nice little guitar and uh, I just love electrics. I did owe an Ibanez electric, but I sold it because I wasn't I wasn't quite growing the bond with it really. There you go. And I've named this one Electrode. Okay, another type of guitar that I owe, and this and this I will be honest was a bit of a surprise really because I didn't expect to get these, and that's this ukuleles. Ukuleles. I first bought this one, and then. I some for some odd reason I just wanted to get a ukulele because I left this one at home because I wanted to play it live. And I ended up and by accident I bought this one. So I bought like little baby twin sisters I would say. I named this one Crystal Junior and obviously I've named this one Sunshine. Very nice um, Mahalo they are. They're Mahalo ukuleles. Nice woodwork. This one's a U3 GOPP and this one's also a free U3 OG, oh, sorry, U3OGPP, and this one's a U3OGYW. Purple, yellow. Symbols. And now I'll show you another ukulele, which I will call this one my favorite ukulele for some reason. But here it is. And that's the uh, Stag ukulele. I, I just don't know why it is, but I just love this ukulele. I just love how it's carved out. It's like, um, a bit of not sure what type of wood this is, but it's very, very nice. It's very, very nice. Yeah, it's a little bit, um... Yeah, it's a bit out, so... Don't want to get into that. Very good tuners as well. That's the headstock. And the tuners at the back. Very smooth little body as well for this one. Now, I've named this one Red Junior. Now, I will mention why I've given this one Crystal Junior and this one Red Junior, because... I owed a purple Ashton acoustic, which is one of the guitars I won't be showing you, and also an Ashton red acoustic, and I just think, they like kids! Crystal Junior, Red Junior. Because obviously, the purple Ashton was called Crystal, and the red ones obviously, I just called it Red. After Red the Dragon from Spyro. <laughs> okay. Okay, and the next type of guitar that I'll show you is... Well, a very complicated one, really, and I am trying my best to get into it, but I love how they sound, and I love how they make this beautiful tinky tangy twangly noise, but it's very complex to play, and it might be something for you to try out when you get the hang of a guitar a bit more, and that's this gorgeous bass, uh, a Boston mandolin, and here it is, it's the mandolin. I've named this one Eliza. It's got nice, uh, it's very nice design, good works on the, on the wood here, and pickup guard, and the violin, like a violin um, holes here. And I will mention that violins and mandolins have the same tunings. I just love having to do this. It's a little bit difficult for me to play, to play it though, but there you go. Sorry, it's bug. That's how a little snack before I did this. It's got nice uh, tuners on it as well. Very nice. Eliza, the uh, mandolin. Okay, so that's that. And another type of guitar that I owe, which, uh, which I would say this one is a popular type of uh, bass. Bass. And I mentioned bass, I meant an acoustic, electric acoustic bass. And here it is. The Cheetah Electric Acoustic Bass. It's a very good guitar to have. It's, it's perfect to... I think I only use this to make recordings that I have. I own like my own miniature studio, which is just over here. 
that's just keyboards and a device up there that I just link everything in. And I always love to play like acoustic songs and uh, I use this space for the acoustic songs. It is a bit it is a bit of a crack just over here though, but hopefully it's hopefully it won't cause any more damage. Hopefully it's not gonna grow out any further. But I've named this one Boz, as in B-O-Z-Z, -Z, Boz. Again with the lovely design, nice heads, dark and tuners and everything else, except that on the A string there, it's open. No idea what's happened there, but there you go. Okay, uh, another bass that I owe, and this one I use a lot for my own recordings, and that's this beautiful bass. This one came by surprise. Well, I've had this one like way, way after many others so that I'll show you in a minute. It's, um, I wouldn't say, it's, I would say it's a Fender, but it isn't. It's from this other company. I can't pronounce what, it, what it's called, but it's, but it's really good to use. I've had this bass for a couple of years now, and uh, it still sounds good, and it, it's fun to play with and everything like that. You probably have seen it on my Only Living Boy in New York video, if you've watched it. That's at the corner, the, that side, sorry. <laughs> and I've named this one Baz, as in B-A-Z-Z. -Z. So there you go. It says Balls and Baz. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to move back now to the acoustic guitars. And I just had my eye on it and saying, oh crud, I forgot to show you this one. And this one has a very big story into it, and that's this Brunswick non-electric 12 string. And this is the very first 12 string I owe. I named this one Jeff. Um, I will mention, yes, he's not looking in good shape because he's been put away for a long time. Might hopefully get him to have a major good clean up and uh, make him look brand new again. And I will mention as well that um, I'm not sure if it's, yeah, it's tuned down a bit because the strings are that old and uh, it was mighty out of tune when I got them out of the case, so there you go. Now, there's a big story in this one. At my old job, which I'm not going to say where, let's say a whoop, ukulele fell over. Don't worry, it's fine, so I better put him back. Sorry. As I was saying, <clears throat> this this uh, contest I entered, which, which I don't want to mention what it's called. It's a bit like a Britain's Got Talent thing, or World's Got Talent thing, I don't know. And uh, they did it twice in that particular year, and the second time I actually went. And I actually had this guitar on me back, and the thing to link it in. Link it in, to link it into their PA system that they owed. And uh, I played three songs with this guitar, and I won. It's, sorry to say, but I've won. I've won a bottle of champagne and a trophy, which I will say was it was great that I won, but I'm not one of these people that likes to take things well when it comes to winning and everything like that. I'm one of those people that likes to put myself down. There you go. So I've named this one Jeff. It's got nice, nice uh, designs and everything. So there you go. So that's Jeff for you. Now I'll move on to my very first electric acoustic guitar. Who's over there? So I'll quickly fetch him for you. Right here. There we go. Now let's bit of a twist on this one as well. This one is it's got gorgeous designs and everything like that. It sounds good as well, but it has issues. The headstock here, the tuners over here, they've got one of those annoying screws that doesn't want to stay in. So and yeah, it's out of tune again. But it's really good design. Yeah, it's been the I'm not sure if might be able to tell, but it's a bit greasy, but it's because of the fact that, well, well, took it everywhere. And it's got the electronics. The only thing it hasn't got is a tuner, which would have been better. Now, I did have like, uh, I would call it a cousin to this, like a thinner body version of this, but the electronics on that guitar just somehow stopped working altogether. Even when we installed batteries in, it just wouldn't come on. So we weren't sure what, was, what to do with it. We either have to send it off to have it repaired or swap it for another one and this was the answer we swapped it for this one which we which i call this one ernie and yes it's an encore an encore acoustic i apologize for suddenly swinging out like that but i keep forgetting this and that and the other so i'm not very good with the 
with telling you what designs they are that thing. But there's another end called I.O. and this one's another electric. It's another electric. Oh, that's uh, again, this one too has issues. It's got no back bit here. And the strings do need changing. It does need a bit of a clean, really. But it's a very good guitar to use. It's a bit like, it's a bit like one of my, my favorites, um, Fender Stratocast Stratocasters uh, type, except that it's an encore and uh, different to tuners. It's got the same, same tuners as the acoustic has. And I've called this one Edgar. Very good design, very good sounds, and uh, it just sounds like a proper Fender Stratocaster. So I'll put them back here, Edgar. Another electric acoustic that I own. Uh, actually, I think it will move on to the 12th string of non electric acoustic. Ooh, we didn't hear that. And this one too had a few issues when I first bought this. Because I'm not sure if you can tell, but the body looks a bit slopey, doesn't it? I think the body at the top bit there is getting weak. And it might probably need either to be replaced or they all say get rid of it. But it's good guitar to use, especially when you have it tuned down. When you have it tuned down and you hit that low D note, class that is, absolute class. And I will mention though, guys, I owed a Tanglewood six string acoustic. I might show you the clip in a minute, but here's the clip now. This is a guitar that I went with, uh, well, that I bought when I went to Canuck with uh, Dave Busby. He, I don't know why, but I think it's because he wasn't very keen with the encore. So I think he uh, wanted, wanted to take me down to a nice guitar store to get a nice guitar. And we did. And this is the guitar we bought. That has two white plugs instead of pegs, I mean, instead of uh, black pegs. But oh well, it's not all that bad, but... <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I will say though, it sounds lovely on stage, but it sort of sounds, I don't know, it sounds a bit odd when you're recording it. That's like, I think kind of a too much bassy sound, make it sound all rubbery. I don't know, but it's a beautiful guitar and I'm very proud to have it. Okay, that's that sorted. And so I will mention I owe a few of these uh, Tango Woods and I have to say that it feels like right now Tiger Woods are after me. Oh, I wonder where that noise went. I apologize for that if you can hear it. There was like a big drilling noise going on. Blimey. But anyways, I've named this one Power because, well, I just think it'd be a powerful 12 string. There is a few downsides. The electronics, again, doesn't have a tuner and the battery is directly inside the guitar itself and you have to get all of this off in order to reach in. And the sound hole is a little bit puny, but but still, it's still a good guitar to use. So, power, ladies and gentlemen, power. Now, as I said in the clip, on that little clip that I'll be showing, that I showed you, which is a six-string Tanglewood that's left out of here, I've named it Legend. Now, this one I called it Night. It's a Fender acoustic, and this is why, because it's dark as night, really. And I've taken this guitar everywhere because this guitar not only does it sound good when you're recording, but it sounds great when you're performing live. It's a fun guitar to, to play. It's got the, well, it hasn't got the original, sorry, I'll get this out of the way first. It hasn't got the original, like, Strat, Stratocaster headstock like many of us have. It's just got the normal acoustic um, headstock, which is, which is fine by all means. It's still good guitar to play. It's very popular as well, since I've seen so many, some other people that owe the guitar, just like this one. Uh, named this one Knight, and the 16 Tiger Wood is called Legend. Knight Legend. Because <laughs> my family nickname is actually called Knight Legend, or Knight Legend Prime. But again, this one's got good designs, and uh, lovely bridge, lovely woodwork, and good color skin. And of course, I gave it a Fender track. So, night, night. I will mention as well that uh, Night has electronics, a Fisherman electronics with a tuner on it, which is a very big plus side. Now, I'm going to move on now to another electric 12 string, and I would call this one my favorite because of its design. 
And here it is. Here's the, uh... Here's the, uh... It's, um... A YU14402303 on that word, sir. Uh, 14512 S S C E 12 string. And I'm hope and I'm even hoping one of the days to get a six string version of this, cause they they it's just a nice design. Love the woodwork of this guitar, it's such a nice thing. It's got electronics as well, it's electric um acoustic twelve. But there is a bit of a downside about it though. The sound of this guitar is quiet. It's up, it's like, you just can't hear anything on this guitar. And I think right now it's not coming out at all. Cause I think the battery must have gone. That might be what's, that might be what the reason is. And again, there's a chip on the uh, headstock cause I accidentally dropped it on the concrete floor in a pub. And quite lucky it's still, still doing well. And I've named this one Primal. And because of the fact that this 12 string has electronic issues and no tuner, I've actually bought a cousin to that guitar, and that's this one here. Another Tanglewood 12 string. And you might have seen this one, this 12 string, on the only little boy in New York, since I've used this one to play. It's got the Fishman. The Fishman slash Tanglewood electronics with a tuner on it, except that the volume piece there is missing like the rubber part, don't know where it's gone. But this guitar is like fantastic to play, recording as you've heard, and performing it live, it's just fantastic. Except that the neck bit is it's a little bit wide, it's a little bit wider than um, me ever good, me ever good 12 string, me ever primal in fact. And the same with power, because all three of them are from Tanglewoods. Tanglewoods. Good work, work and everything, so there we go. We'll put him back. Uh, I've named this one Jackson as well. I've named it Jackson. Right, hold on a sec. I just need to turn that around to stop it from getting caught on the wardrobe door. And then I'll be back. Sure, it's uh, in order. There we go. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, ah. Now this one. This one had issues, and an accident happened just recently, but we've got it fixed now. And that's this white Brunswick six-string electric acoustic. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell over here, but the bridge is one of the reasons why. I'm not sure if you can see it. You see? Ah, I don't think you can. There's a few cracks in there. It's the fact that a piece of a bridge from this side, where my finger is, just, just somehow looked like it's been crushed. So I had to send it off for repairs and it was out of the house for two weeks because the first week I went on holiday and the second week it took much longer than we thought. And I will mention there's a few damages around because of the fact that I was cycling home one night, one horrible winter's night. And uh, well, let's say it was a wet day, but then it was a clear night. And I hate when that happens because of ice. And I ended up slipping on the ice and this guitar was on my back in its case and quite lucky it's still in one piece by all means and uh, of course we've got to watch it nowadays for it to be tuned up in case if the bridge starts cracking again but i've named this one sebastian and i will mention the electronics well i'm not sure if they fixed it now but before all of that happened this guitar had a tinny sound even when i turned the treble right down and the bass bit up still no good but it's still a nice guitar. It's probably one of those type of guitars that you just like to have fun with, really. But there you go. Sebastian. Okay. Now, let's see. Uh, ah. Now, another type of electric guitar, which is actually an electric classical from the Lag Company. And I've named this one Stars. I've performed with this one a few times when it comes to those quiet nights. And uh, I'll tell you what, it's got a beautiful sound. Beautiful sound. That's the tuner, the electronics. It's been around a few places. It's just got this beautiful, um, crispy sound. It looks like the strings need changing from my angle. <laughs> uh, but it's still got lovely sounds into it. It's, and it's brilliant to use for recordings as well. Since I wrote a Christmas song with this guitar, 
uh, named it Stars, and I've written this tune called Christmas Stars, and if you want me to upload that, leave it in the comments. Put that up for Christmas time. Okay? Okay, um... Alright, I think we're now coming up to the rare electric acoustics that I use quite a bit, because each of these acoustics are just my favorite to perform. Well, there was one that I sort of regretted right buying, but then after I got to know it, it was just fine. But before I do that, I want to skip those those guitars and get to the 31st guitar I bought, which is again another electric classical. But this one's from a company called Gear for Music. So, sorry, I'll take that off. And as you can see here, there's the Gear for Music. Um, the only, well, well, it's not that bad now, but the only downside is it wouldn't tune right. But but right now it's, uh, well, yeah, it looks a bit dusty, but I made sure that this one remains clean. As you can see, yeah, look at that. Look, you can even see, look, you can even see me, right? You can even see me just, just about here. There, there you go, there you go. Can you see? You see the reflection? <laughs> but um, I've named this, well, actually, I've actually named this one Moon Wolf or Wolf Moon because of the fact that my favorite beast is a wolf so and it's got the electronics and everything and i did record this song i did record sorry i've recorded with this guitar a few times never performed with it though because it looks like one of these type of guitars you don't want to damage so there you go moon wolf ladies and gentlemen good designs and everything and good electronics okay so the first uh, electric acoustic which I'll show you. I will call this one again another personal favorite because I've used this one quite a bit not just because for fact I want to buy an identical guitar to one of my duos who also owes a guitar just like this one except it has a few differences but I've used this one for busking and I just have a lot more fun with it and look at that now it just makes me feel like why am I not using this so often and that's this acoustic it's an Ibanez electric acoustic. It's a gorgeous guitar. It's very, very nice. It's got wonderful soundings, good, good woodwork and everything. And it did have string issues before because the G string was replaced with one of those crappy strings. But I've managed to get them replaced and now it looks all brand spanking new. Good headstock design, nothing like that. Now my singing partner that's on the um, that's in one of my duos. Her bridge on her guitar is different, and all this brown here is darker, and a little bit, uh, and the bit here is a little bit wider. So this is like a thin body version. It's in a, uh, it's the uh, AEG 10 2 and uh, I was hoping one day that I'd end up getting like a black version of this to take the busking and all that, which you're gonna see in a minute. A spoiler. In fact, I'll show them right here. And I did, and there it is, the black version, which I will mention, this one's my latest guitar I've ever bought. I'll show you more of him in a minute, after I reveal some more good things about this guitar. As I said about good electronics and everything like that, perfect to use for recording, and it was wonderful to use for busking as well. I did perform with this one a few times. Yeah, it's, a, it's still good by all means. Now, my singing partner, she has a guitar like this, and she called hers Ed, whereas mine here is called Sheeran. There we go. We named our twin guitars after one singer, the legendary Ed Sheeran, which I admit I am a fan of, because I think he's a top man. So I'll show you now the black version of the guitar, which again is which again has the same bridge, same electronics, and it's the same as an AEG 10 2, except that it's a black version. A different, now I will mention though, there is a bit of a difference with the headstock. The Ibanez symbol is a little bit different as well, which made me think, hmm, okay. But um, it's still wonderful guitar, it's fun to play, and I've, I've used this guitar quite a bit now. I have recorded with this one a few times, but I perform this one when it comes to open mics and gigs. Crystal sound it is, crystal sound. I've named this one Prime. And I will mention again, this is actually my latest guitar I've ever bought. So there we go. Now this, now this next one I will show you, 
I performed this one a few times. I recorded with this one. Well, I think this one sounds better when it's recorded. Let's really give it a chuck, 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 Because I did record I Am A Rock by Simon and Garfunkel. And again, if you want me to upload that, leave it in the comments below. I've named this one Johnny. And, well, I did have a bit of regret of buying this guitar. But as soon as I got the hang of it, I love it. And that's the rule. Sorry, excuse me. And that's again a gear for music. It has a brown neck and a thing, but a black body, and here it is. No tuner on the electrics, but it's got a very nice smooth back. Very, very nice. And I will mention that the reason why I was I was a little bit concerned about it, because because of how round the back is, it keeps looking up like this. And it does irritate me a bit. I did take it for Boskin a few times. And then I took it to a certain venue, which I'm not going to say where. Let's say some bad things have been happening over there. But yeah, it's it's again one of those guitars I regret buying. But then, after getting to know it a bit, I love it. It's a fun guitar. I think this one Johnny. And I will mention as well, and I've already, and I've already just had my eye on it. Because I've uh, missed one out. It's another electric guitar. And again, this one's from Gear for Music. The only thing is, though, this one, well, there's the back of it. Wait till you see the front of it. This was actually my mother's idea to make my room a theme of this particular symbol that it's surrounded by. Because, well, I don't know why, but she just thinks it's a lovely idea, and it is a lovely idea. Now I'm surrounded with a few bits and bobs that has that particular symbol on. I've named this one Jack. Because it's a Union Jack electric. Look at this, a Union Jack. My mum wants to have like Union Jack this and that in my room, which I think it's nice by all means, but, but well, I just think it's cool, really. Gear for music. It sounds good, it looks good, but again, this one also suffers with the sound being quiet. So I think this one would be good for like a room decoration or something. You can do that, you know. There we go. Oh. Okay, so before I do anything else, have I missed anyone out? Oh. Yes, I have. As I mentioned, Tanglewoods. I have one more Tanglewood, and he's right here. An electric ukulele Tanglewood. And I find this absolutely adorable. Cause look. <laughs> and I think I did. I think I've. I've recorded this a few songs with, with this ukulele. It has a good sound into it. Lovely woodwork and everything. Now, I will mention, I always say the phrase, they're after me whenever I see any more Tanglewoods. And I started being like that ever since I spotted, I'm not sure if you could see that particular symbol right there. Tanglewood. <laughs> Funny or what? And I've named this one, obviously, I've named it Jackson Jr. After the 12 string. Well, one of them at least. <laughs> okay, so now, I think before I do anything else, I'm just going to check around see, have I missed anyone out? Apart from the three that's not here. No, I think we're good to go, so I'm going to now show you my very favourite guitars. They're both very rare. There's one that's a DX version. And then there's the OM version. And they're from one well, of my absolute favorite guitar companies of all, Martins. And I'll show you the very first one I owe, I bought. And that's my DX version, and here it is. Here's the DX version. Let's just uh, take that jack lead off. There we go. And there's the DX version. Look at this. It's got a nice, smooth body. Very, very nice. Got the lovely headstock with a cap on it again. There we go. And now it's made the now it's made the headstock filthy. Sorry about that. And um, it's got it's such a great sound into it. I just absolutely adore it. Now I will show you another unusual feature on this guitar. That's somewhere around here, which I won't show you on this one. I'll show you on the other one. So we'll put him back. And I've named that one. I've named this one JC. Or as I will show you now, EC, which is an OM version of the guitar that I've just showed you. 
and here it is, it's the OM version. And I've used this one quite a lot. Now there's a sticker on here as well. It's for this charity that's going around at the moment. Help Zach Oliver with his uh, very rare leukemia. Um, it's got the same design, same extra work and everything like that. Now, I will show you this extra feature on this guitar because the, the DX or JC has also got the same feature. Hold on a sec. It's not in straight there. It's like, I get the ones there. I need command there. Never mind. Alright, so here it is. Here's the extra feature. I'm not sure if you can see it, but look at this. It's got the USB uh, plug there. No idea what that's for, but um, but they all say link it into your computer and record something with it. I'm just not sure how to work with that, but hopefully I will one of the days. But it's brilliant to use. Good electronics and I would say this one's my my favorite guitar to play for gigs. And I have to mention this as well, so let me just get the other one back. Look at the back of this neck, of the necks, look at this. Both of them, each, you can, well, you can sort of feel a bit more on the DX than you can with the OM. But, again, they're just absolutely amazing. They're both wonderful to perform live. I have recorded some songs with both of these guitars. I even wrote a song with one of them. And I've written a few more with the other one. And again, I've named it EC. Okay, so I think, I think I've done everyone, haven't I? Yeah, I've done all of them. I've done all three of them here. I've done him, I've done all of these guys, all the Ukes, these two, these two, and those two, so yeah. And, and, and him, of course, the ukulele that's right behind the, the computer. And of course, these two over here. So yeah, I'm literally surrounded with guitar, so I've got a lot of cleaning up to do when this video is over. So, I just want to say, guys, that I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it wasn't too boring for you, because because not only have I not been like telling you what sort of wood they have or anything like that, but just telling you stories of why, of what these guitars can be and what sort of electronics and stuff like that but I just hope you enjoy it by all means and uh, hope it's not too boring as I said and uh, like to raise a toast with uh, this Pepsi Max bottle <laughs> not much of it left in there really to say a big thank you for I think probably now I would say 15 years on YouTube on both my channels, which is the Peter Jones Night Legend, and then there's another one called the Pete, with just Pete Jones. Sure, I may not be doing, I may not be that good with something like that, but please, at least, at least keep this, spread this video around while you can, eh? Even if it, even if it means you have to have four, over 42 minutes of your life to watch this. <laughs> but a big thank you to you, a big thank you to my guitars and. A big thank you to all my friends and family and all my fans. And um, yeah, I will have to mention I do have haters as well, so I'll raise a glass to them as well, because in retrospect, in retrospect, they've heard of me and they don't like what I do, and that's their right. If they don't like what I do, then fair enough. Fair enough. They can just do whatever they want. So here's to YouTube and all the other social websites that I'm on. And and I hope you enjoyed the video, as I kept saying. And uh, I will see you in the next video, which will hopefully be a new song for you. Take care. Peace out. Cheers.